Welcome to part seven, guys, of how to build a blog with Laravel. All right, last video was all about learning how to um, build layouts. And that was, so we had like a master layout of our application, and then each page that we make only needs to fit the main content of, um, of that general layout. And that helped us from repeating ourselves. Don't repeat yourself, D-R-Y, right? Um, that's something we also learned. So we learned a lot of great things about starting to use the Blade Templating Engine. And now in this video, we're gonna learn one other thing that's similar to layouts, and that's called partials. So partials allow us to basically extract even further um, sections within a layout or even within um, part of our main page. So let's take a look at them right now. Okay, so um, let's go ahead, let's come back over to our blog here. Um, last time we we took a look at those basic elements and we got our main.blade.php all um, set up here so it looks nice and clean and everything is kind of hosted in the main.blade.php and then over in welcome.blade we have just the part that's specific to our page, right? And same with our contact and our about. We only keep the parts that are specific to that page and then not have to repeat ourselves. So we learned about how to extend um, um, a layout file. So in all of these, we're extending main, and then main.php is the layout file. So that's one thing that we definitely learned. We also learned how to create these sections. Now we used a section called content, but remember, you can have as many sections as you want, and you can also name them anything you want. We chose to use the, um, the name, the section name content, just because it's kind of a generic for all of our content but we could have just as easily named it something else just so long that they match. So in our blade main.blade.php, if we wanted this to be called um, body, we could name this body just so long as it matches inside of our, um, our templates over here, and these said body as well, because if they don't match, then they won't um, line up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. Um, I'm gonna move that back to content, but I just wanted you guys to know um, because this is something I see when I've te taught people in the past is when I, I kind of rely on that content section content and people seem to think you have to use the content and um, I want to make sure I made that clear that um, you don't need to you can actually it can be anything you want it to be you can name it anything you want and you can have multiple sections in here now I don't see a, a strong reason for that right now but I could um, an example might be if we had a sidebar on every single page you could create the main content and then the sidebar as two separate sections. And all we would do in that case is um, if we wanted our sidebar, we would just create section sidebar and we could have two different sections inside of this um, inside of this page. And the other kind of cool thing is if there's nothing, it will just ignore it. And so um, if there's no um, sidebar in this case, then it, and you, we, we didn't even create a sidebar, even if the template was looking for a sidebar, it doesn't throw an error. Okay, so that's kind of a nice thing. Now the downside is we probably would already have a um, space made for it, so we'd have to work around that. I'm sure there's workarounds, but again, I'm just giving you guys some examples. So we can have as many sections as we need, um, but I usually don't have too many. I usually find myself, um, I usually find myself just needing one main one, sometimes two sections. Um, and that's about it. One thing that I will con actually, let's go ahead and just take a look at this. This is one thing I will usually do. Um, every once in a while, you might have a specific CSS file that you, you don't want to load on every single page, but you might want to load it on a specific page. And so what I'll sometimes do here, it, like if we go to our, um, we're in our main.blade.php is I'll create another section here and I'll yield yield, I gotta spell it right, um, I'll yield um, and I'll call it style sheets. Okay, and then um, down here at the bottom, okay, and then yeah, I'll just go down. So down here at the bottom, after all of our other scripts, I would also yield scripts, just like that. Okay, so now what the point, the, the, the goal I'm trying to accomplish here is if I have 
Um, like most of the time, I probably will have my main style sheets just hard coded in this main layout file, right? And um, most of the time that'll be okay. But let's say that on, this happens a lot of times like when you have like a dashboard and sometimes you'll have like, you'll be pulling, creating graphs. And so sometimes you'll use like a plugin that um, allows you to have these graphs and they'll have a special JavaScript file they need to create these graphs and a special CSS file to display those graphs. And you don't need that on every single page. Um, and so you might only want to load it on a handful of pages that utilize graphs. And so what you can do is let's just say the welcome page um, has graphs on it. Um, and we wanted to add this extra CSS file and this extra JavaScript file. Well, what we can do here is we could just create a section on the pages that need it. And we could call it style sheets. And then um, we would obviously end section here. And then inside of here, we would just create our, um, like, you know, the link to the style sheet. Let's just say that that's what it was, right? So we're going to go ahead and save this. And um, I'm, at, I'm also going to, at the bottom here, create another one called, this actually would throw an, well, they're both going to throw an error. So, um, well, a minor error. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, scripts. End section, and then we're going to link to JavaScript. Basically, we did script, not I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, let's just do this. So we're creating a link, and then the source will just be we'll just call it J, like js.scripts.js. That's a common thing that you would have um, in your file. So we're just saying, okay, go ahead and load this script. Or another thing you might do is, um, in fact, we can do this real quick. Um, so we'll just do, well, this probably won't load into, well, let's try it. Okay, so I just did a quick little script. I'm gonna inject in there. Let's come back to our website and refresh. And when I refreshed, you can see we got a confirmation box, okay? So what this shows is that on the home page, that confirmation box um, is, is loading. But when I go to my other pages, notice I don't get any errors. Even though on these pages, I don't have those sections created, the blade templating engine is okay with that. It can say, um, when it comes to main, and it comes down to yield style sheets. Even though, the, it, let's say we're looking at the about page, there's no style sheets section, it's okay. It just moves right on and doesn't throw an error and continues to load the rest of the page. Um, but on the ones that do have it, it'll go ahead and load those. So that's kind of a way we'll all sometimes have multiple sections. And um, this is basically how you would create it. So you just have a section here, a section here. This allows us to kind of have additional JavaScript in here. Um, and or things like that so and the, it also helps us kind of space it out because if we come back to our main you can see here that because i put yield scripts at the bottom i know that it's going to load whatever i put in that scripts tag is going to load after my jquery has loaded which is important and also after my bootstrap javascript has loaded um, and so i can kind of control the order as well so that's another kind of nice thing um, about this as well. So if we come back to our blog and I'll just view page source here, you can see we only have one style sheet on here and there's no errors or anything thrown. If we scroll back down to the bottom, you can see we just have our jQuery and then our bootstrap um, JavaScript and there's nothing else. So that's what happens. This is on our about page. And if we go to our home page and um, I got the message, so I obviously know the JavaScript's running. I'm going to view page source on here and you'll see that remember we loaded that styles.css. Let me come back here. On welcome in our sections, we just loaded a basic styles.css. And you can see that if we go back to our page source, that that's loading on the home page, but it didn't load on the other ones. And let's scroll down to where the JavaScript is. And you can see that that script I created um, for the confirm box is added on here as well.
okay? So that's a really good use of some sections and get just be thinking about some more. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete. I'm gonna leave the yields in there, but we're going to, um, so on our main page, I'll go ahead and leave these in here because we might want them in the future, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of our uh, welcome page because we just don't need them right now. But I wanted you guys to kind of see some more uses for sections. Another use for sections with Blade is um, to output. We had talked about earlier how we could customize this title, and that's what I want to show you today. So um, what we can basically do is we can say Laravel blog yield title. Perfect. And we're going to yield a title. And then now on, let's go to one of our um, templates like welcome. And we can now create a section and call it title and simply pass in one argument and just make it a one line section. Okay. So we do title and then we're going to do, um, we're going to finish that title. So we'll do like a dash or sometimes you do like a vertical bar and then we'll do um, homepage like that. And let's go ahead and copy this and we're going to move on to about and we'll do the same thing for the about page. We'll add for title, we'll do about and then for contact, we'll do the same thing and we'll just do contact. And I got to spell it right, obviously. All right. Now let's come back to our our page, refresh. And if you look here at the top, you can see Laravel blog homepage now is loaded up. And if we go to about, it's our about page and our contact page. So that's another great way to use sections. Now, last thing I want to touch on this video is partials. And partials are a way to kind of extract the content even further. So let's come back to our main. And let's say this still is a little cluttered for our taste. And we want to break it down even more just to make it easier, more organized. More organized is what we'll call it. Well, we can take advantage of something called um, partials. And this is where you can basically extract code out into its own file. Maybe it's to be repeated or maybe it's simply for organization. You can use it for both purposes. I like to use it for organizational purposes because I can take all of my navigation and extract that out. And then I know if I need to work on my navigation, I just open up the navigations partial and I only deal with the navigations and none of the other shit, none of the other crap or anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a partial. Um, let's come into our views file and we're going to create a new file. So views or new views folder and we're going to create a new file in the views folder. So let's do new file and we're going to save this. And when we're working with partials, we commonly include an underscore before the name. So we're going to do underscore and we're going to call it head. And this is because we're going to create a partial for the head of the HTML document. So we're going to do head.blade. Dot PHP always have to have the blade.php with these view files. Okay, now we've got that saved and created, and you can see it's at the base of the view. Um, it's indicated with the underscore, so we know it's a partial. Let's come back to our main.blade.php, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take everything in the head of the document up until the body, cut that out, and paste it into the head.blade.php. Go ahead and go ahead and save that. And now we're going to come back over here and we're going to say include and we're going to include head. Okay. And that's it. Okay. And um, the one thing I forgot is we actually need to, we need to add the underscore in here um, and save that. So underscore head. And now if we come back to our page, and refresh, you'll see that we got it working. So it look, it's working exactly the same. We still have, well, we can go to page source to verify. And um, you can see that we still have obviously the HTML uh, head of our document and everything like that. So um, here's the head of the document right here. So it's obviously loading it correctly. And um, again, one other thing to know is you don't need to do these underscores. Um, Underscores were something that, well, first of all, I'm, I come from a Rails background as well, and in Rails, we do need the underscores, and the um, in Rails, we don't add the underscore to our include files. You can just do head, because it knows to look for something with a underscore, so it kind of enforces that rule. 
However, I've worked with other Laravel developers where even though Laravel doesn't require have that requirement, I've worked with other Laravel developers who still follow that kind of mindset because it keeps things clean. When you're looking in here, you know which ones are partials because you've added that underscore. So it helps the developer, but it's not required. You could have easily just named the file um, without the underscore, but just make sure it matches. Everything before the blade.php needs to match. So if it doesn't have an, if this file over here doesn't have the underscore, then just make sure you don't have the underscore in your include file um, or, or whatever. Remember, of course, if I create a folder card called partials, let's go actually go ahead and do that just to show you. Um, in my views folder, I'm going to create a new folder called partials. And we're going to move head.blade.php into the partials folder. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do that in my finder. I'm going to open up my finder, go to sites, um, blog, and then um, resources right there, views. And I'm going to move this head.blade.php into my partials folder. Go ahead and close this. You can see it moved away. And um, we don't want to save that. And so now in our partials folder, we have head.blade.php. So now all I have to do here is I just simply need to call it partials.head. Okay, and then it will find that file. Let's go back to our homepage, refresh. Everything works. We're good. So let's go ahead and do this a little bit more. Just clean this up, um, our main file, a little bit more with, with uh, these partials. So let's create a space here. We're going to make a new one. We're going to say include, and we're going we're to include all of this, which is the navigation. So we're going to call it nav. Oh, we're going to do partials.nav dot underscore nav. And um, then let's go ahead and copy all of this navigation. You know what we can do? Let's keep the body element in here. So I'm going to move the include below the body element, and then we're going to take all of this out um, just like that. So just the navigation. That'll just be a little cleaner so we can see that the body element's there. All right, and now we need to create that file um, of partials um, under .nav. So in our partials folder, we create a new file. We're going to save that file. We're going to call it underscore nav.blade.php. Save that and paste in the navigation we just took from our welcome page. All right, so this is all the navigation. There's no point in having it indented. You can just clean it up like that and um, go ahead and close this file. So now we have our include up here. We have our body, and then we've got um, the include for the partial, uh, the, the partial for the navigation. Then we have our container, and then we're going to have our yield statement for content. And now we've got a footer. So let's go ahead and um, close up the footer as well. I'm going to cut that out of there. I'm going to include a footer. Once again, partials.footer. Um, that's it. Sorry about that. When I hold my uh, shift button, it does that. And um, we'll do that. Let's create another partial new file. We're going to save it and call it underscore footer dot blade dot php I'm gonna save that paste it in this is our footer very basic for now actually I'm gonna cut we don't want this end of the container I want to keep the the structural elements in the other file so I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna paste that back into our main file so back in our main after our include let's gonna put that in there and that way we have our cont our container here we have these let's indent those just to make it cleaner and then the end of our container is here. And now we've got our script files. Um, so let's go ahead and let's include um, our JavaScript. So I'm going to uh, create a partial for this as well. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to say include. And then we're going to call JavaScript. JavaScript. We'll just call it JavaScript. And then again, I forgot it's in the partials folder. And we're going to do underscore JavaScript. Um, save that. You're getting the hang of this. Partials, create a new file for in partials. We're going to save that and call it underscore JavaScript dot blade dot PHP. Once again, paste our JavaScript in here. We can clean this up just like that. And then um, we've got that here. We've got our yield element. We've got our body element and we've got our HTML. It looks like our HTML is in our, our head. So let's pull that out as well. Let's open up our head file. And let's just pull out these two elements and put them in our main file. Okay, 
save. I'm going to clean this up again too, just like that. Go back to main, and then we're going to um, above this we'll have our um, doc type and our HTML tag, and then we've got our closing HTML tag here. Let's go ahead and just indent everything so it matches like that, and then all these indent because they're inside the body tag. Perfect, just like that. Okay, so recapping really fast, this is what we've got. We've got now a um, really clean document. We've extrapolated everything out, so it's got its own little space. So now when we look at our main.php, we don't have that huge long HTML file. We can see, okay, we've got the doc type, we've got the HTML tag, um, we've got everything in the head is right here. And if you wanted, you could even pull, if you go back to head, we could actually pull some of these head elements out and put them in here if you wanted. Um, that might be a good idea. It is really up to you. In fact, let's go ahead and just do that real fast. So I'll get rid of these and um, come back over here and we'll just have our head and then we'll um, close our head just like that. So we can see that all, everything inside the head is in this file. Everything inside the navi for the navigation is inside this file. We open our container. We yield our content, then we append our footer, then we um, have our, we have our JavaScript, and then we yield our scripts tag. Okay, and um, what in the background all that's happening is this file is literally being placed right inside where this is as well. So we're just simply making it easier to read, but it's functioning the same way that it did before. The reason that's important is if um, if we go back to our head here, you'll notice we actually call a yield for title. And you might think, well, maybe that's not going to work because it's like in another file now. It's not actually in this main blade.php, but it acts as if it is. So having that yield in there is okay. It'll still continue to work just like it did before. That's also important because if we bring um, if we bring variables in from our controller, variables can be accessed in here as well. So just like we learned before, you could have we don't have this variable, so throw an error but you can actually just X have uh, variables placed even though they're in this separate file um, because it acts just like um, like they are in this main.blade.php. Okay, so now we've learned about partials and we've cleaned up our sections, we've got our organization down, so now it's really time to start building out the blog application, let's um, build out our posts controller, let's build out our post model and start working with the database. Um, it's it's going to get good, guys. Stay tuned.